Welcome to Electron Online. Well, we've been talking about how we're able to calculate the distance to a star if we know both the absolute magnitude and the apparent magnitude. But now the question is, how do you do that? Well, here it is. This is how we do that. Now, we need to take two cases. The first case that we're going to take is when a star is farther away than our standard distance of 10 parsecs or 32.6 light years. So yes, that would be 32.6 light years, which is the distance of 10 parsecs. So the absolute magnitude is how bright it would appear if we place the star at the distance of 10 parsecs. And the apparent magnitude is how, how bright it appears where it actually is. So Regal is much farther away than 10 parsecs away from us, so it appears with an, ap with an apparent magnitude of 0.18, but when it is at a distance of 10 parsecs, it has an absolute magnitude of negative 6.69. So how do we calculate the distance to Regal using those two numbers? Well, you go through a series of steps. Step one, you find the difference in the magnitudes. So you take the dimmer magnitude and subtract the brighter magnitude. So the difference between the two is 6.87. Then you take step two. Step two, you find what we call the LF, the luminosity factor. So how much more luminous is Regal at this position versus that position? So the way that's done is we take the number 2.512 and raise it to the, to the difference in the magnitudes. In other words, 2.512 raised to 6.87 gives us almost 600. Okay, then we do step three. In step three, we find the DF, what we call the distance factor. The distance factor is the number we're going to multiply times 10 parsecs, or 32.6 light years, to get the actual distance. How do you find the distance factor? We take the square root of the luminosity factor. So in this case, the square root of 600 gives us 23.66. And then finally, we take that standard distance of 32.6 light years, multiply it times the distance factor, so 32.6 light years multiplied times 23.66 gives us 772 light years, and that's the distance to Regal, and we can calculate that since we now know both the absolute magnitude and the apparent magnitude. So that's how we find the distance to stars that are farther than 10 parsecs away if we know both the apparent magnitude and the absolute magnitude. That is how it's done. And I forgot, can't forget that. Those four steps will give you the right answer. Is that specific, a specific star or did you just... No, that's a specific star. That's the star Regal, the one we were talking about oh, yeah. before. Yeah, okay. yep. But use the same technique for any star that is farther than 10 parsecs away. Okay. All right, now we'll do case two. And it's closer than 10 parsecs. So we'll take Sirius for that example. 